What is going on, Phantom Army? It's your boy, Phantom Stilts, coming back at you with a brand new Two Cents Review series. Today, we're going to be looking at the PS4 Pro. And is it worth it? Um, my quick answer is no. Yeah, it's an upgrade. Yeah, it's a new console. But what is really an upgrade to you? That's the question. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to get into some pros and cons like we usually do on this Two Cents Review series. Anyways, first the pros. Now... One pro of the PS4 Pro is it'll be out this year on November 10th, 2016. So you're going to have a quote-unquote 4K gaming console to compete with the Xbox One S. Now, the biggest difference between the PS4 Pro and the PS4 is the internal stuff, like the GPU, the processor, all that kind of stuff. It's two times as powerful as the original PS4 Pro, or the original PS4, excuse me. It also, all your PS4 games will continue to work on the PS4 Pro. You won't have to, this isn't a new console where, or a new console generation where you're going to have to use all the brand new games, all brand new game discs. Everything you use on your PS4 will work on your PS4 Pro. That won't be a problem. Also, it's more energy efficient and the graphics in the, in the original PS4, they've been beefed up quite considerably and the PS4 Pro is... It's definitely an upgrade, don't get me wrong. It's not like it's they just threw a console at you and there's nothing different. There are things different, but that's about where the good stuff ends, guys. I mean, to be totally honest, this this console, I think, is going to get crushed by Microsoft. Especially, I think the Xbox One S right now is a better console than the, Fiat, than, than the PS4 Pro. One, it has a bigger hard drive. Two, PS4 Pro does not have true 4K gaming. They're saying it's going to, but not without compromising it. Like you're you're gonna you're gonna have to compromise with whether it's the frame rate or how you or the resolution of your TV. It's it's not gonna be true 4K gaming. And Xbox One S is true 4K gaming. That's what it's touted as, and that's already out. So you can go pick up an Xbox One S right now. You're going to have to wait for a PS4 Pro until November. So you have at least another month, about a month and a half. About a month and a half before you're going to be able to get this PS4 Pro. So it's up to you guys whether you want to get an, a, a real true 4K gaming console right now or you want to wait for something that doesn't do it uh, another month and a half and be disappointed. But I, I truly think that the that the PS4 Pro is... I mean, I mean you even saw when Sony, when Sony unveiled it at their press conference this past week. Or it might have been this... Yeah, this past week. It fell on deaf ears, guys. That's another huge. That that that's one of my biggest cons for this console is that with with fans, it it was a dud. Like it, it it had no reaction. People were pissed, I think, or or maybe just in sheer disbelief that they're unveiling a console that's like a tiny step. Maybe and I wouldn't say a tiny step. That's being a little bit harsh, but. A little bit of a jump from the original PS4 console. The only real difference is that it plays somewhat quote unquote 4K gaming. And it's not even true 4K gaming. Like I said, you're going to have to compromise something with this system. It's not made for true, real 4K gaming. And the Xbox One S is. That's just the sheer reality of what we're dealing with with the PS4 Pro. Now, another con that I have is that it's not as powerful as the Xbox Scorpio. The Xbox Scorpio is going to offer 6 teraflops of GPU power, 320 gigabytes of bandwidth, and it's real, true 4K gaming. The PS4 Pro only offers 4.2 teraflops of power. That's a whole two, almost whole two teraflops of GPU power that it doesn't have. Those two consoles, they're not even on the same tier. Xbox One Scorpio is going to be a monster of a console. Like it's going to have six, like I said, it's going to have six teraflops of GPU power. It's going to have 320 gigs of bandwidth, and it's going to be real, true 4K gaming. You're not going to have to compromise like you will with the PS4 Pro. But I, I just think the, I just think the PS4 Pro is a huge dud. I don't think this might be the first time we've seen a flop from PlayStation in. As long as I can remember, they've been the top tier of gaming. Their equipment has been the best. Everybody's wanted a PS4. Everyone bought a PS4 over an Xbox One. They killed them in sales when the PS4 Pro, excuse me, when the original PS4 was unveiled. They killed, they killed Microsoft and Xbox in the ratings, and and in just sheer numbers of consoles sold. But I think that's actually flipping. I think Xbox One. Xbox One S and Project Scorpio when it comes out, they're going to be the new head honcho in the world of gaming. I think that their hardware is going to be unbelievably superior to PlayStation and PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, 
I just I don't think Sony's going to be able to come back from this one this year or or even next year when when Scorpio comes out because I think right now even Xbox One S is a better console. Anyways, guys, that was my two cents. Make sure you guys leave a big like on the video if you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, guys, this is your boy Phantom Stilts. As always, I will see you guys later, and you all take care.